Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 5 to the power of x plus 1, plus 5 to the power of x minus 1, this is equal to 20. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now, this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m, and it's also in the form of a to the power of n subtract m, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. Applying these exponent properties, then we have that 5 to the power of x plus 1, this can be expressed as 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of 1, then plus 5 to the power of x minus 1, this can be expressed as 5 to the power of x divided by 5. This is equal to 20. Now, since 5 to the power of x is common here, we can factor out 5 to the power of x so that into the parentheses, we have 5 plus 1 over 5. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 20. The next step is that we have 5 to the power of x into the parentheses, now, 5 is our number, so this is over 1. The FCM here is 5. 5 divided by 1, this is 5 times 5. This is 25. Then plus 5 divided by 5, this is 1 times 1. This is 1. This is equal to 20. So in other words, we have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 25 plus 1. This is 26 over 5. This is equal to 20. The next step is let's multiply both signs by 5 over 26 and also here by 5 over 26. So now let's simplify 5 and 5 here, 26 and 26 here, so that now 5 to the power of x here is equal to, now we can simplify here, 20 divided by 2, this is 10, 26 divided by 2, this is 13. So we have 10 times 5, this is 50 divided by 13. Now, to solve for the value of x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have log 5 to the power of x. This is equal to log, we have log 50 over 13. Now, we have that log 5 to the power of x. This is in the form of log a to the power of n, which we can express as n log log a. Applying this power rule property of logarithm, then log 5 to the power of x becomes x log 5. This is equal to log 50 divided by 13. Now let's divide both signs by log 5 and also here divided by log 5. So let's simplify log 5 and log 5 here so that now x is equal to this is log 50 divided by 13. Then everything here divided by log 5. The next step is that log 50 over 13. This is in the form of log A divided by B, which we can express as log A subtract log B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have x is equal to this is rock 50 divided by rock 5, then subtract rock 13 divided by rock 5. So here we have that x is equal to rock 50 divided by rock 5 minus rock 13 divided by rock 5. We can express 50. This is the same thing as 25 multiplied by 2, which is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2 times. So therefore, x is equal to, this is rock, 5 to the power of 2 times 2, divided by rock 5, then minus rock 13, divided by rock 5. So the next step is that rock 5 to the power of 2 times 2, this is in the form of rock A multiplied by B, which we can express as rock A plus rock B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to, this is rock 
5 to the power of 2 divided by rock 5, then plus rock 2 divided by rock 5, subtract rock 13 divided by rock 5. The next step is that rock 5 to the power of 2. This is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n rock a. So applying this property, then x is equal to 2 rock 5 divided by rock 5. Then plus, we have here rock 2 divided by rock 5. Subtract rock 13 divided by rock 5. Now, let's simplify rock 5 and rock 5 here. So that now, x is equal to 2 plus, now here we have rock 2 divided by rock 5. Then subtract rock 13 divided by rock 5. Now, the next step is that rock 2 over rock 5 and rock 13 over rock 5. This is actually in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. So let's apply this logarithm property so that now the value of x here is equal to 2 plus this is rock 2 to base 5 subtract rock 13 to base 5. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that the value of x, which is 2 plus rock 2 to base 5, subtract rock 13 to base 5, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that 5 to the power of x plus 1, then plus 5 to the power of x, subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 20. Let's substitute the value of x so that now we have 5 to the power of 2 plus rock 2 to base 5. Subtract rock 13 to base 5, then plus 1, then plus 5 to the power of 2 plus we have rock 2 to base 5. Subtract rock 13 to base 5, then subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 20. So now, this is 5 to the power of 2 plus 1. So this is 5 to the power of 3. Then plus, this is rock 2 to base 5. Subtract rock 13 to base 5. Then plus, here we have 5 to the power of 2. That is 2 minus 1. So this means we have 5 to the power of 1. Plus, this is rock 2 to base 5, subtract rock 13 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 20. The next step is that 5 to the power of 3 plus rock 2 to base 5 minus rock 13 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m, as well as a to the power of n minus m which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. Applying these two exponent pro properties, then we have 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5, then divided by 5 to the power of rock 13 to base 5, then we have plus, here we have 5 to the power of, this is 1 times 5 to the power of rock 2, to base 5 divided by 5 to the power of rock 13 to base 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 20. now we have that 5 to the power of 3 this is 125 multiplied by 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5 divided by 5 to the power of rock 13 to base 5 then plus 5 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5 divided by 5 to the power of rock, 13 to base 5. This should give us a value of 20. Now, 
we have that 5 to the power of rook 2 to base 5 or, rook, or 5 to the power of rook 13 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of rook b to base a and this is supposed to give us a value of b. Applying this logarithm property, then this means that 5 to the power of rook 2 to base 5, this will give us a value of 2 and that 5 to the power of rook 13 to base 5, this is equal to 13. So let's substitute 2 and 13 here, so that now we have here 125 multiplied by 2, divided by 13, then plus here we have 5 multiplied by 2, then divided by 13. This should give us a value of 20. Now, 125 times 2, this is 250, then plus, remember the LCM here is 13. So we have 250 plus 5 times 2, which is 10. And this is supposed to give us a value of 20. Now, what we note here is that 250 plus 10, this is 260, divided by 13. If we simplify here, 260 by 13, this is 20. So it's clear that the left-hand side we have 20, which is equal to 20 on the right-hand side. So this implies that the value of x here, which is actually 2 plus rock 2 to base 5 minus rock 13 to base 5, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.